What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today because you could have been doing anything else, but you decided to watch this video. So I really appreciate you guys. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. You guys who are, you've been following me for a while now. Thank you, have been on this journey with me. Thank you y'all. So I have another video for you guys, but this is like across the board. This is for med students, PA students, NP students, really any student, but the first three, that's really who I'm talking to. So rarely do we have resources that we can go to that is going to give us information that will relate to all three specialties, but I have found three for you all, and that is what I'm gonna be talking about in this video today. So with respect to the resources, my number one so far, like the, my first resource that you can absolutely go to is YouTube. You're watching me here on YouTube, so I know you guys go on YouTube a lot, and if you haven't already done so, you should really check out YouTube for anything school related. Now, you can go to YouTube, type in any type of like pathophysiology of neuroendocrine tumors, or you can type in how do you do a running suture, or you can type in a specific procedure that you wanna see how to do. YouTube is the best when it comes to that because you can see exactly step-by-step step how to do these different procedures. And I mean, I, I like it, you know? I think that that is a great resource. I use YouTube a lot with respect to any type of pathophys that I'm trying to visualize and see exactly how to go about doing it. And also with my suturing, I use that a lot to show me how to do a particular throw or stitch. So YouTube is the first resource that all of us can use with respect to looking at how to get particular things done. The next resource is Pygmonic. And Pygmonic is actually sponsoring this video, so thank you so much for that. Pygmonic, if you don't know about them, they are a resource that allows you to do picture mnemonics. So for those of you who are visual learners like myself, um, you will be able to see these picture mnemonics that are kind of like silly, you know, caricatures of the various different medical things that you're learning about. So gonorrhea and chlamydia, you're gonna see like a clam, you're gonna see a gunner ship, I think it is like a fighter ship. So you're gonna see these things and you're gonna remember, okay, this is exactly what you're gonna do for treatment. These are the signs and symptoms. These are the treatments. These are the signs and symptoms. But one thing I really like about Pygmonic is the fact that you can make your own Pygmonic. So if that particular Pygmonic doesn't necessarily speak to you, you have the opportunity to make your own Pygmonic or you can break it down. So the Pygmonic will show you everything related to that particular disease, but you can break it down and just be like, I wanna know or I have a Pygmonic specifically about the treatment. And so for me, I've learned that gonorrhea and chlamydia, you think of them as cousins or sisters, they always come together. And then so you're gonna treat them you know, you're gonna treat both of them. So if you're treating chlamydia, you know it's a gram for the clam. So you'll have this clam and you'll have a gram of azithromycin. Now, if you're thinking about it in your head, you can think about whatever gram you wanna think about, but it's a gram for the clam and it's azithromycin. And that is a really easy way to remember that and you can make a pygmonic of that, which I think is really, really cool. Lastly, you can also do Kaplan. So again, this is for med students, PA students, and NP students. There are various different cue banks for um, all of us with respect to, you know, step ones, pants, NCLEX, uh, other types of nursing tests, and MCAT and GRE. It's They have something for everybody. And so this is going to give you the opportunity to actually go through questions and just read questions and answer them. It's a cue bank. So it allows you to test your test the knowledge that you may have learned through Pygmonic or that you have, may have learned on YouTube or in your particular program. And then you come in and you'll just go in and make a test for yourself, how many of your questions you want, and you'll run through questions. And you'll see exactly how well you've retained that knowledge from the various tools that you've used to learn the knowledge. So it's actually a really, really good resource. I suggest that you guys use all three of them in conjunction with each other. You know, go to YouTube, learn the material there, use Picmonic to then see it and, and do like spatial repetition because it allows you to remember things in various different areas. If you're a 
with your person and then test your knowledge with Kaplan after you've used the quiz on Pygmonic. Um, let me know how you guys are doing with that. Let me know if you find or you found other resource that you can use that is actually across the board for all three of us. And uh, leave that comment in the comment section below. If you have any other questions, please be sure to ask that in the comment section as well. And follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.